Hey everyone, Darren Carnell here. Welcome back to my studio. Welcome to part 14, I think, of the Kylo Ren tutorial. Let me check everything is working. The microphone and the music is on. It is recording. My camera is here. I think we're okay. Um, so we're doing part 14. We're going to do probably his eyebrows maybe some of his hair will do some of that so shall we get on with it okay let's bring in the camera so camera comes into about there uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> I've forgotten how to do this <laughs> let's bring in my paints oh, you can tell it's been a while since I did the last video right, so let's bring in the paints to about there and if I jump straight to overhead with me in the corner there's me down there try and I need to get a new chair this chair keeps sinking down <laughs> it makes me feel like a little tiny person and I just go and fall down and it's like no I want a better chair I'm supposed to be at the proper height so I'm just taking the lids off things so there's my flow enhancer I've got my water off to the side got all my paints and stuff here I've been doing different things with my paints I've got a different collection of paints here than what I was working with last time because I was mixing some colors for a commission someone wanted me to mix some paint to match um, a toy that they'd sent me they wanted like an exact paint match so I'd did the best I could but that was with those and those are not the ones that I normally use to paint heads so that's why they're there so I may end up <laughs> I may end up looking at my paint going I'm going what color was I using because <laughs> I can't remember all right let's get Kylo in okay so that needs zooming in doesn't it why is that not zoomed in um I mean you can see it but it's a bit far away. Okay, so that is the overhead camera. If I bring up the settings for that. Ba, 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 ba. Overhead camera. That's a little bit better. I must have... Where's the focus? So not there. Not there. Sort of close, isn't it? Right, so a little bit. I'm trying to do it a little bit at a time just to check. Because the autofocus on this, honestly, it's rubbish. It's a good webcam, but it's a rubbish autofocus, so I'm doing it manually. That should be about right. So if I'm working there, I should be able to see most things. If I need to do it up close, I can do that, or I can bring the camera down. In fact, if I bring the camera down a little bit anyway, you see less of the desk. Sorry for the wobble. <laughs> Camera, stop wobbling. <laughs> um, because it's a camera on a thing on the lamp, which is clamped to the desk. Any movement and the whole thing wobbles. So if I need to show you, you know, close up stuff, I can just hold it up to the thing, change the focus. That works well. But for most things, it can stay down there, and that can be my far away painting distance. Do we need to see up close? Yep, that works. So let me have a look at him. Uh, okay, so eyebrows. Now, his eyebrows are quite dark. I've been looking at pictures of Kylo and Adam Driver. I couldn't remember his name. I was going to say Adam What's-His-Face. Adam Driver. He's got quite dark eyebrows. Um, they're not black, although they sort of look black in some shots, but they are essentially very, very dark brown. Now, what I'm going to do is mix some lighter brown. I've already put some on in one of my previous videos. I, I caught my, my, my finger there, and that hurts like hell. Um, let me point with that one. I haven't got a cut on my finger. Um, I did a light shade of brown on the eyebrows on a previous video just as a placeholder um, I'm going to mix how am I going to do this? because sometimes I do the way I do eyebrows has sort of changed over the years 
I used to just do a general fuzzy blob <laughs> with a few highlights, and that sort of works. If you're looking at things at, you know, a normal distance, it sort of works. Over the years, especially if you've seen things like my Peter Capaldi Doctor Who had with his attack eyebrows, um, I've been painting eyebrows in much more detail. Now, I don't do them... Like, I don't paint every individual hair. It's sort of a mix of the two techniques. I do a, a faded... Not a faded. A blended in smush <laughs> of, of his eyebrow um, to put the background color. Now, that might be a lighter brown. It might be brown mixed with some skin color. But just so there's something there and then paint some dark ones and some highlights on top. Um, I'm just looking at his because often when I try and paint them all with individual um, eyelashes, um, eyebrows, they're eyelashes. My brain, my brain is not working today. <laughs> Eyebrow hers. Um, if I paint them with none of the underneath blending and just do individual eyebrow hairs, what I find is that it ends up smushing together so much it looks too heavy so i try and avoid that and the way i try and avoid that is do the underneath color and then some hairs on top um so i'm looking at his there and i've got to say the sculpt on this is it's sort of right like where they've sculpted the eyebrows but they are a slightly different shape than his but I think I can go with it see I don't want to make him too angry or anything but I don't want to make him too normal but I want it to be have a bit a bit of intensity but not be like angry eyebrows and it, it's sort of sculpted a bit angry but he's not frowning or anything it's just the way they've sculpted it, and I think that that sculpt is a little bit harsher than what his actual head is, but it still looks like him, and once I've painted it, I think it'll be fine. So, let's look at some brown colours. Um, I am, at some point, going to need black-brown. It's essentially umber from my old paint. If I was working with the old MP paints, that would have been... I would have used umber in place of that. It's not exactly the same colour, but it is close enough so you can work with it. Um, I will use that at some point. I am also going to use... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pick a call, Darren. Um, I think... I think if I mix mahogany brown... Either I'll thin down mahogany brown, or I'll mix some mahogany brown with some skin colour and see how that goes. I will do one of those two things. I don't know which one. I will decide literally now as I pick up my brushes. <laughs> Sometimes you decide things in advance and you know what you're doing. <laughs> Just making sure there's no hairs on my palette. Lovely clean palette. <laughs> um, Sometimes you decide in advance and you know what you're doing. Sometimes you literally just decide when you're doing it. And I often get the best results that way. So I'm going to mix up these two anyway. Um, I'm not cleaning that yet because I'm doing the thing that if you saw one of my older videos, um, you don't know what I do where I leave it to build up layers of paint for ages and ages and ages and then peel it all off in one satisfying go. The whole lot comes off. And I've actually still got the last one I peeled off. A whole lot of that. Like a layer of rubber that all came off all the paint. And a few people were asking, can I have some of that paint that's been on your palette that you've done things with? And I'm like, I said I was going to figure something out <laughs> to, to let people have it. And I don't know what I'm doing yet. I haven't figured that out. But I'm sure I will. Okay, that'll do. So that's. Don't know what I'm doing. Um, let's just squirt some brown on there. 
Oh, I haven't got any kitchen roll. That sort of helps, Darren. Have one ready. Magic. There you go. So, let's get a brush. Uh, let's get a brush, brush, brush. Alright, so I'm not doing individual hairs yet, so I can use this brush, which is small and pointy, but not super pointy. With, but that's fine for this. I don't want it to be super pointy. I'm going to get some water. Where are we? Darren, where's the camera? I'm going to have to be careful because this will hit the microphone <laughs> if I'm not careful. So, water, paint. So, I'm just going to put some paint in the water because I want this to be really thin. I'm honestly, as I'm saying this to you, sort of not convinced that's the right way to go. I think. Right. Decision change. I'm going to put some black brown down. I'll show you now. Uh, there you go. So I've got some black brown. I'm going to mix some black brown in with the whatever colour that was. Mahogany? Yeah, mahogany brown. That's actually better. Um, I'm going to blob some thinner um, flow enhancer. <laughs> oh, my brain is not working today. There's a bit of skin colour. I want to test it. That's not bad. I might mix a bit of skin colour. See, I don't want it to be too close to the last colour that I did, but I also don't want it to be that dark. You know what? No. I'm just going to add more water. I'm going to make it like this darkish colour, but make it as watery and thin as I can. And go with that. Where are we? Darren, get it in picture. So we've got that liquidy thing there, which is basically mahogany brown, black brown, load of water. And it's super thin. I mean, let me. There's some yellowish colour. That's one of the custom colours I was mixing for the client who wanted some paint. And you can see it's, it's sort of mostly water, but there is colour in there. And for my early thing, that's what I want. So let me put that there, just so you can sort of see, even though it's not really in, in, the, in the right place, but if you can see it a bit, it helps. Okay. So, see, part of me, now, let me get this where you can see, where am I going to hold it? If I hold it about there, so if I move the focus up, 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 I'm just tapping the up key on my focus thing, up, 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 oh, I've gone too far, <laughs> down, 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 down. That's about right. So, part of me doing this is going to, or wants to, follow the sculpt, because it's mostly in the right place. And part of me is thinking, yeah, but you want to change it, Darren. So what I'm going to do is do this. You know what? I haven't got a backup brush. There you go. That can be my backup brush. Um... See, with this bit, I don't want to do... All right, when I'm painting this, I'm not doing it to the edges of the shape of the eyebrows, because this is going to be painted over with um, individual hairs. And those will go over the edge onto the skin. Let me just get some more water here. So this is sort of being done to be central within the shape of the eyebrows, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not doing it up, up to the edges of the shape. I hope, I'm not really explaining that very well at all. So imagine the shape of an eyebrow. Then you do a faded... Whoops. 
too much water. You do a faded shape in the middle of it. So it's almost like an airbrushed, darker shape, but not up to the edges. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to describe that. Hopefully, just watching me do it will be better than me actually trying to think of words when my word thinking brain mechanism isn't going properly and making sentences and stuff. Totally not worth it today. So you can see there, you're starting to get a hint of an eyebrow. There's no detail or anything apart from the sculpt. And to be honest, most people just do that. If it's got, uh, if it's a head that has got a, a decent or semi-decent eyebrow sculpt, most people just paint or airbrush a bit of a blurry shape over the whole thing. Where am I? There we are. Um, and let the sculpt do the shadows. Now that works in a lot of cases, probably works in most cases. Me being me, obviously it's not enough for me. I will want to paint some of those hairs as well. But this is enough. Now, the way you can see here, he's got, in the, in the sculpt, there's a very prominent V shape of his brow. Um, and his eyebrows, usually with Kylo, they're a little bit higher. Let me see if I can get the brush in that. All right, so that's in line with the, in line with the sculpt. Kylo's brows are usually a little bit higher than that. Um, and I'm going to do some blending over the edge with that. I might use the my base skin colour for that, because these this brown is quite dark. I'm going to take a little bit up now. Let me just make sure <laughs> you can see. Now what I'm doing, because this is so thin, it's almost drying instantly. So I'm able to go back straight away and just do more layers on top so I'm not having to you know paint and then wait an hour and paint I'm just doing a bit doing a bit on the other side and I can go instantly back and just add some more to make it a bit darker where I need it to be a bit darker and it's a very subtle and yes slow but controlled way of doing things you could spend more time mixing the perfect color that you wanted and then, you know, if you're very good with an airbrush or if you're manually painting it, just paint it all on in one go. But I like the control of being able to do lots of things. And I mean, to be honest, let's ignore the other one. That's sort of, apart from the fact that it just needs to be a bit darker there. And I could do that with a dry brush. I could get a small brush like this, get some black brown, wipe it all off so there's only a little bit left and just dry brush that bit which would be like using an airbrush and that would give him to be honest <laughs> enough but I will want to go in and paint individual hairs down here and individual hairs down here and you've got to get them going the right way down here they go in that direction and the ones up here on this top edge they go in that direction and you've got to get that right that's one thing that humans have and if you're trying to do things you know in a in a way that captures how people look that's what you got to do where's the focus 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 about there okay so again just adding more brown here and there letting it dry building it up let's go over to the other side do the same thing so the sculpt itself makes me is trying to make me go underneath that line of the thing so this is just skin i'm actually gonna try and lift it up a little bit over the edge of the sculpt um, both with the shading and then with individual hairs when I get to them. Just because I think it should be a bit higher. I 
I could do it to the sculpt, it would be good enough. It, it's, you know, it's certainly an amazing sculpt. Um, I've seen a couple of Kylo sculpts. I've not really paid much attention, I'll be honest. <laughs> kind of had other things in my life distracting my attention, so I've not really... Where's Darren? Pay attention to the camera. I've not really sort of kept up with you know what figures are being released what custom sculpts are being released i've missed a lot of that so i've not seen a lot of kylo sculpts i don't know if there's many more out there i've seen a couple and this is you know certainly up there as one of the best ones if not the best one um i mean even just from that with a little bit of shading of darker and a little bit of shading of you know, some highlights that, that they could be done but it's it's me so it's not gonna be but you know as a start let me have a look at this a second okay let me bring this back where are we uh, there okay so a bit more dark same color just more layers it's a dark enough color it's just very very thin so i can put it on without worrying a little hair in the water there that's annoying get away um i can put this on without worrying that it's going to be too thin or too thick but when I want it darker, just add more layers. And it'll only get darker to a certain point because it's not, you know, it's not a black colour or anything. So at some point you're just painting brown on. But once you get to that point, that's when you jump in with a different colour. But for now, this one is dark enough that I can just do lots of thin layers. Dot it on here and there. And get the shape that I need. And the the shades, because I could just paint, you know, a slug, a solid slug shape over his eyebrows. But I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. I'm following both the sculpt. <laughs> I know most people who, who, who watch me are used to this by now, but when I'm looking at something that's close up to my eyeballs, I have to look over the top of my glasses. So I'm sitting there working and I'm looking like that. And then when I end up looking back up at you to talk to you, I end up doing that, <laughs> looking down my nose through my glasses to save me fixing my glasses back up and then when I go back, pull my glasses back down. Welcome to the life of a 46 year old with bad eyesight. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more of the dark colour just in the middle. I'm going to make it a bit darker in a second with some of the black brown. But for now, that is starting to be okay. I'm going to go over that with. We're going to paint individual black hairs all over that. I'm going to blend. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. I think... Actually, I think if I just go in with the black hairs and start doing that now... If I, I'll do some shading with the black-brown first. Oh, I've got the burps. Oh, excuse me. That's what I get for drinking coffee before I painted. So the black-brown, where's the thing? Let's get some black... 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 brown. <laughs> I should just give up. I should just accept. Darren, you can't do this for a living anymore. What are you even trying for? <laughs> go and... Go and... I don't know. I don't know what I'd do if I wasn't doing this. Okay, so black-brown. I know you can't even see that there because it's on top of more brown, but I can see where it is. There it is. So I'm just making it a bit darker. Uh, let's put it on the yellowy colour there. There you go. So that's what I'm doing. Super thin. Let's get some more there, and I'll actually take it from that. Um, wipe a bit off. 
so most of it's gone all right where is the focus about there right so i'm gonna do some of this i don't want to take it to the edges because that's where the individual hairs will go but i just want to make it a bit darker almost headbutted the camera there where's the focus focus okay So I'm just taking some of this and I'm doing thousands of little dots here. That's how I'm sort of shading it at the moment for the underneath stuff. Once that's painted over with individual hairs, you won't you won't see that. It will just appear to be shadow or you know blended shape of some kind. But that's how I do it. in a way that lets me shape it carefully as I go. But also, so you're starting to look more like Kylo now. Um, but also lets me control the shape and the, you know, the darkness, the depth of them. Now these will match in. They look a bit odd at the moment because they are against the hair that's, you know, sort of like this because I painted some dark color at the beginning, which is, a lot of the highlights have been rubbed off as I've been holding the head. We knew that was going to happen. It was good to have just a base underneath it anyway. We'll go back. When we go back, we'll do the hair in colours that will match his eyebrows and it will look it will look right. So what I'm gonna do. How let's see, I'm just looking at these colours now. Uh 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 I think I'm gonna, right, here you go. Executive decision. Neutral gray, I'm gonna get some of that. I am gonna mix that with black brown, I think. I'm gonna use that on some of the thin hairs that are going here. Um, I wanna tone down the brownness of it, um, if that makes sense. I don't want as much chocolatey brown colour coming out even though there's not much in the black brown when there's actually more in this than the umber that I used to use when you've thinned it down it becomes quite a weird colour um, so I'm going to mix some grey into it to let me get some neutral colours I'm probably going to go over it with some skin coloured or lighter coloured highlights over the top just to break it up a little bit more and we're going to go in with some some black hairs here and there. You know what? I'm uh, uh, uh. I'm going to mix. I probably don't need to. I'm going to mix the German the the what's it called? German. I keep seeing the word German. German camouflage black black brown. I'm going to mix some of that with some grey with a little bit of black and see how that goes. That's probably more colours than I need in just the eyebrows, but it is what my brain is telling me at the moment I should probably do. And you know what? I go with my brain, even though I probably shouldn't because let's face it, it's me. Okay, so uh, let's mix some colour up here. So we've got grey, black and the browns over here. I'm going to get some grey. Let's chuck some grey and a bit of black. Don't even know if I'm doing this on camera. There you go. Bit of black in there. Let's get some black brown. There's some water on that brush. Get off. There you go. Mix some water in with it. Let's get a little bit of flow enhancer just to... Make it a bit more, keep the colour together and stop it you know, breaking apart and make it a bit more flowy to use all of my technical jargon. So we've got this, where are we? There we go. This greyish, dark grey colour. Actually, I could do with a bit more black in that and a bit more black brown. Let's 
I think that's kind of right. Now, hopefully that will not dry up because I'm, <laughs> I need to use that now. Um, do I thin it down even more? Ugh. Go on, put some more water in it, Dan. All right, so I'm adding a little bit more water in it just to get a bit more fluid there. So I've got a bit more to work with because if you're mixing tiny amounts of colors, um, they can dry up quite quickly. And if you've mixed a perfect color from, you know, five or six different colors, then it's a bit of a pain when it dries because you're like, ah, that's the color I needed. How did I do that? Now, that brings up an interesting point, something that I am toying with the idea of, but I've never actually done it. So I don't know anything about it. I've just seen others do it and I've thought, why are they doing that? Is that something I should be doing? I use this old palette from my days of doing actual painting paintings, you know, canvas paintings. Um, and I have seen people who paint miniatures, people who paint, you know, those tiny little figures where there's like an entire figure and it's about that big. And they are painting the legs and the clothes and the armor and the heads, little tiny heads that are, you know, that big, tiny, tiny, tiny figures. Frankly, I don't know how they do it. They're, they they use some kind of magic. But I've seen people painting those and using a wet palette. Now, this was something I had never heard of when I first saw it. Um, it's something that is a bit... It's like Doctor Strange and the Mystic Arts. It's something I'm like, what is that? Why do you, do you use that? What does it do? How do you use it? Didn't know anything about it. I've looked at it a little bit, and part of me thinks, ooh, that might be useful. Maybe I should try. And the other part of me thinks, but you don't need things to be mixed for that long. You never reuse the same colors for long enough. I don't know if you if you need it. I've got two different aspects of my brain arguing with each other. If any of you use wet palettes or have used a wet palette, for those who don't know, it's essentially, imagine something that size, but it's, it's like a very flat, low tray with sponge or even, you know, lots of layers of kitchen roll underneath with water on it and a piece of, I don't know what type of paper, like greaseproof paper or something like that on top. And the whole thing stays wet. So as you're mixing color, you're not mixing color onto a plastic thing that slowly dries out. It stays wet. And I can totally see the benefit of it. <laughs> Especially as I'm here talking to you, this is slowly drying because I've been talking too long. That's a, a perfect example. Um, And I think it's you know, maybe something I should look at. So if you've used it, let me know. Now, let me actually do some work here. I need to see. Okay, that should be thin enough. I was just doing a test on my hand. Where are we? Let's get this focus up here a bit. Um, I want to show you what I'm doing, but I've got to be able to see what I'm doing myself. So, focus. Can I do it? Let's try that. Okay, so. As you can see the thin lines that I'm doing there on my hand. It, they may already be drying on the brush, but what I want to do is do some of them and some of them are going to be blended in with the dark colour, so you're hardly going to see them. But then when we get down to... I'm just checking all the pictures before I do this. When you get down to these bits... Are we in focus? Uh, there you go. Oh, it's dry again, you bugger. Right, let me try and get some more on. Yeah, a bit of water. Mix up the colour again. Get some more on there. Wipe off most of the liquid because I don't want this to be super liquidy. I just need to be able to do it. Alright, so where did I put that focus? About uh, there. See, with this new camera position, this is easier to do than previously, but it's still a bit awkward. So if I have... Let's 
So my hair's going that way. I actually think I needed that paint to be more painty and less watery. Because as I was painting it on the hair, the, the colour was just sort of blending in with the water. I wasn't getting individual strokes, which is defeating the whole point of trying to do this. So some individual hairs down there. Ooh, bit heavy that one. There you go, that's better. So some individual hairs there. Let's try and do the same on the other side. See if I can just very quickly show. See those has just there. Individual lines going in that direction, underneath the sculpted thing. Now that is a bit more how they are in you know in, in the real world. I'm just getting some more liquid. I want to do some thinner, lighter ones, but it needs to be dry before I do it. Actually, while I can do, while I'm doing that, I know what I can do. I can use the same colour. And where have I got the camera now? Okay, so, ooh, super close. Let me see if I can do this. So I wanted to take some I said I wanted to move it up a little bit at the top, didn't I? Where do... I'm just checking the direction of his eyebrow hairs. Okay. Where are we? Now you can see I'm sort of... The camera is actually blocking the light here. And it's I'm moving at an angle that's really difficult to do with on my, uh, holding the brush at this angle. But let's try. So you see that looks quite harsh there, but that's the the effect we're going for. Some hairs going up that way, some hairs coming down that way. They actually need blending in. I think the original underneath, whatever I called it, <laughs> the, the airbrushed slug from the bottom, I actually think I've done that a bit thick and a bit heavy. It was working okay for the you know the shape if I was doing no extra hairs on top but now that I'm actually trying to add the hairs it's showing up that it's a bit thick and it's a bit heavy and it's a bit a little bit much but what I can do and what I often do anyway is go over the sorry i'm thinking and trying to paint at the same time is go over the stuff that i've painted um with a skin color 
either a light hair colour, so it may be like a, a really light grey, or a skin colour, that's the same colour as what's underneath. And add some breaks into the colour. Let me get that focus back down, because it's actually really difficult for me to hold it that close to the camera. Where are we? About there. So let me look at this. Just looking at some pictures here. Do need the middle to be darker, so I'm gonna do some almost black in there, I think. Not actual black, I never really do black, but I might mix some black in with some brown. But I think I'm definitely gonna get some um, what can I use? Let's let's just get some black brown at the moment. Put it in whatever was left of that colour. A little bit of water on it. Let's wipe off most of it. So I'm just looking at the pictures and looking at him still. I get the skin colour, do some breaks in the darker colour, make it a bit more so it's less like dark hairs painted on top of a you know, blurry smudge, so it's more individual hairs. I can see as I'm painting this the sh how the shape of the sculpt is different from his actual eyebrows that I'm looking at. So if I go back in with some skin color to let me change the shape slightly, let's do that right now, in fact. So if I clean that brush off, give me a second. Cleaning the dark off the brush, which will also let the head dry for a second while I'm doing that. Carry on using this brush because it's one of the good ones. It's one of my Raphael. What's the series? I forgot what the series is. Something like eight. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> four digits. It's four numbers. It's a Raphael Kaczynski good paintbrush. <laughs> ah, who's that? Uh, I'm sorry, whoever you are, you have to go to... I think I know what that is. That's about the car. That's one of the many, many, many things I'm trying to deal with today. They'll have to wait. I hate putting people on messages when I need to speak to them, because that's something that actually needs sorting right now. But I'm in the middle of something. I'm sorry. Okay. What did I want? Skin colour. What's my skin colour? Ah... I can't remember what the colour is that I normally use for my skin. It's not light brown, but it looks like that. Where's it gone? It's not basic skin tone, even though that's called basic skin tone. There you go, I think that's it. Beige, red. There you go. <laughs> I knew it wasn't called anything skinny related anything to do with skin, but it's the one that we use as my thing, as my base. So I'm going to blob some of that over there. Whoa, stop coming out. I may shook you up a bit. Why are you... Blah. Put the lid back on. Got way too much paint there. It's just coming out. So if I get some of that, let's, I'm going to use the next one just to put some water in. Get some of this in. Now that's too light, so I'm chucking a bit of brown in. Now that's too dark. Hooray! <laughs> Phone calls really throw me. Alright, that's a bit better. So something like that, but I need it to be thinner, so more water. 
let's just wipe some of that off the brush. Get a bit of flow enhancer in there just to help the colour be okay. Help the colour be okay? That's not even technical, Darren. <laughs> Let me do a little test. Where are we? No, it might be okay. Because the colours... Yeah. Dropped some water on there. Please don't lift the paint. Okay. So what I need to do is I'm going to... I'm going with the direction of where I did those hairs. So the dark hairs on the bottom here and the ones on the top going this way. I'm going with that direction, but I'm using some skin colour. And I've not spent a long time trying to get a perfect match to the skin colour underneath. But you have to... You have to be a little bit close. And if it works, if this hasn't already dried, which it looks like it might have... Oh, there you go. We're getting colour. It lets me paint over some of the dark colour that we had. Some of the smudgy underneath. And it just breaks it up a little bit and makes it look like it's not so heavy. See that? You can see that already. It's... It's a where's the bloody focus? <laughs> I clearly load the focus more than I realised. Where's my cursor? So you can see how that looks a little bit lighter now? That's just from getting that skin colour, very, very basic skin colour, not particularly you know, detailed and matched to what's underneath, but close enough and just did some very thin lines like that over what we did. Same thing there. And now I'm going to do the same the other way. Let me do a bit of a test on my nail, make sure the brush is actually doing thin lines before we go on and blob stuff everywhere. Where are we? About there. And his hair grows pretty much almost sideways. So we've done the same thing there. I'm going to do the same on this side. Oh, sorry, not paying attention. See, that's starting to look like her now. Now what I'm going to do is do some more of that. Let's see, how do I want to do this? How do you want to play this, Darren? I think I'm going to get some of that colour. Same thing. do a little bit more in the same place but just thin it down even more but try and keep the individual strands you don't want it to turn into just like a big blob of colour so I'm trying to do this so it thins it down a bit more lets me change the shape of the eyebrows to what his ones are it's a very particular shape that I'm trying to match. But you want to keep individual looking hers. Now I'm going to go back over this again, but this is letting me can't remember what I was saying there.
Now what I want to do, those edges are starting to be more accurate in how I want them. But I do want the center to be more of the dark color. So, let's get this skin color off the brush for a second. Right, so what did I have? Black. Ugh, not gray. <laughs> Blobbed into the wrong color. Um, black. Oh my goodness, having this zoom in is just messing up everything. Focus, down, there you go. So let's get some black. Uh, let's put it there, I don't know, whatever. Get some black, get some black brown. Let's get some flow enhancer on top of it. So it's not black, but it is darker than the black brown. Um, now I'm going to have to do some test first because I, this may be too dark, but it is what I want to go with. And the color on his eyes, it's quite solid in the middle. So I don't mind, in the middle, blurring a load of lines together. I'm doing them over the lines that we've done and the shape that we've done. Oh, let me bring that focus up for you. But basically, roughly, before I start painting, sort of there to there should be a dark shape. So I'm going to try and do that over what we've done. But somehow keeping individual hair lines, but simultaneously just generally blending darker over there. It's not super straightforward. actually quite good. It needs a little bit more on the bottom. <sighs> Problem is I'm working with colour on top of wet colour. <sighs> Let's do some on the other side. Thing, doing hairs on the top and the bottom. But also sort of generally blending them in. Let's have a look. Now, obviously you've got to ignore the shine because that is just wet paint and stuff, but I'm looking at the pictures of him. That's actually quite good. Let's do a little bit more. See, in terms of doing eyebrows, it's I'm doing a lot of work here for, honestly, a, a small amount of gain. I could just airbrush or dry brush some, you know, 
generic eyebrow shapes over the sculpt and honestly 99% of you wouldn't be able to tell any difference but I know what sort of shape I'm after I know what sort of look I'm after so that's why I always go <laughs> through so much effort trying to do eyebrows now with most people in this middle bit here you end up doing a few almost vertical little hers before you go on to the main shape because you always have a few separate hers here with the sculpt that's the focus but on him it just sort of goes straight into the shape so i'm not doing that i'm going to add a little bit of gray to this black color because i've just seen some of these edge ones that I want to do on the top of his head. I just want them to be a bit lighter. Slightly different color. And they sort of look a bit like highlights maybe and they help it blend in. I hope I'm doing that in the right place for the focus. get rid of that grey, go back to the dark. Okay, I've still got some on this side. When I say this side, sorry, I mean the area that on the palace that I've been working on. Um, so, need to get some more dark in the middle here. Now I'm also trying to imagine him with black hair here because obviously he looks like <laughs> he looks like Kylo Ren in about 30 years time and he's gone all old and grey. So I'm trying to imagine him with black hair here and without all of this shine on the, the new wet paint that I've just been painting. Now they're not exactly the same as his eyebrows. I'm going to do a little bit more work on these. I think what I'm going to do is some of this stuff that I've been doing, adding these lines, I'm going to go forward and backward a little bit with the dark colours. So in fact, you know what, while I'm telling you, I might as well do this. With the, the dark colours and the, let's mix a bit of that mahogany brown in with the black and grey colour. <laughs> See, I was about to sign off then, and now I'm doing a different thing. Um, but I'm going to go forward and back and do some more of essentially what I've just been doing, but trying to just match what I see on the photographs with the, the shape of his eyebrows, which are not the same as the sculpted ones. I've actually done, they're way too dark. Oh my God. That's what I get for trying to do something new when I'm talking. Just had some hairs there that were a bit too dark. I will go over those with a lighter color and blend them in. It's actually not too bad. Um, but you can see the Kylo Renish looking eyebrows. That's what we're after. And you can see the thin edges, which I'm going to taper down a little bit more because the edges here should be lighter, especially underneath. And I'm going to try and take the eyebrows a little bit higher up, up here maybe. But I want them to be... They're getting closer. 
that's really getting closer. I want them to be the same shape as his eyebrows, not the same shape as the sculpted eyebrows. And they are more straight across in the bottom bit there. Where are we? That bottom bit there. Just want to straighten that off and make that a little bit darker. Let's try and do a bit more here. See, I can't put it away. I'm trying to say goodbye and let you get on. And I'm like, no, just do one more bit. Okay, so if I test this on my hand, okay, that should be okay. So if I do a bit across the bottom there, So that's getting closer. That's starting to look really good. So you can see where we're going. You can see how we're doing it. I am building up lots of layers of individual hers, but on top of a shaded shape underneath. Um, honestly, you could probably get away with a good sculpted eyebrow. You could probably get away with just doing some dry brushing very simply one color that's what i you know used to do especially if it's got good sculpted hairs on it you could get away with doing some different dry brushing you could get away with doing a bit of a dry brushing or a thin wash and hairs on top honestly you could get away well it's not getting away you could it's the hardest way to do it you could do all individual hairs like what i've been doing going forward and back forward and back with darker and lighter colors but you could do that instead of the underneath smudge that, that I did. It would just be more forward and back with different things. And as long as you were working towards knowing this bit should be darker, these bits are thinner, we want some lighter colours here, we want a bit of warmer brown here, all of that stuff, then you can do any way that you, you know, any way that works for you. You can do that. Let me just get this out of the way. Because that's that's how we do it. At the end of the day, whatever works is what you do. Now, you may do it similar to how I've been doing it there. You may do it a completely different way. As long as you know what you're working towards and you've got reference photos and you're happy that it's heading in that direction, then that's what you do. So I am, I'm for now, I'm drying this brush because I've got to take that phone call. It was my mum and it was probably important. So I've got to take that phone call um, or call her back, I should say. Um, I'm going to carry on doing a little bit more of what we were just doing. So just adjusting the edges, doing some, some lighter, um, hers or you know lighter skin colored gaps between the hers some darker hers just adding the shades here and there and trying to do a bit that blends both the shape of the sculpted eyebrows with the photos of the real eyebrows that i'm trying to match and trying to get them to work with each other you can usually change the shape of sculpts to some degree sometimes it's harder sometimes it's easy um, and that's what I'm going to try and do. It won't take me too long. I think half an hour of doing this will be enough. You don't need to see that half an hour because you've just seen me doing it. I'm doing exactly the same thing until I'm going, yeah, that's enough. And it's close. It's really close. And then in the next video, we come back and we'll do something else. I don't know. We maybe do his hair because he's getting close now. He's almost done. Um, so that's it. I am going to go. That was part... 14 i think it was um thanks for sticking with me it was a very slow and quiet video because i'm doing lots of little tiny things and it doesn't look like that much has happened but we've given him eyebrows <laughs> that's you know it's one of those things that has to happen and you could spend a day painting eyebrows if you wanted to 
And if it took you a day, fine. At the end of the day, you've got a figure that has really good eyebrows. And I'm trying to do it in a way that's just continuous and on a video. I might normally take all the breaks and do a bit and go and work on something else and do a bit. But I'm trying to do it in a way that can be just done on a video and show you guys. So we've done about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes, in fact. I'm going to fit, finish it off and then we'll come back and we'll do something completely different. So thank you for sticking around. I hope you have a good day or a good weekend or a good evening or whenever you're watching this. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see you soon. Look after yourselves. Look after the people around you. Look after animals. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Where's my end credits button? <laughs> there it is. Bye.